I'm going to start off by saying, Ka hala ya hawa, ba hashem, ya hawa shai, ba hashem, rakha, kudash, devil understood the apostle of the great millstone, shalom to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth. We're going to jump straight into this clip, <clears throat> going into the cashless society that will soon hit on the four corners of the earth, but definitely here in America, aka Babylon, once the CBDC is uh, fully implemented and ushering in the MOTB which is the mark of the beast in Revelation chapter 13. They don't take care. Look at this. Every imaginable bill. I have one of every bill, 150, a 20, a 10, a 5, and 1. And, I and you see, he's in distress because he got all that money, but the dollar doesn't mean anything as of, I believe it was, if my memory serves me correct, January 19th or January 29th, the dollar right now, society is still running so-called normal, but it's going to come a time where everyone's going to feel it. Everyone's going to feel it and they're going to they're gonna be in distress just like this man. And it's going to cause uproar of the people and it's going to cause, uh, you know, anguish, uh, um, Trying to remember sedition among men, etc. You know, the many the love of many shall wax cold, and you're gonna see that um, here in these in these last days. Going mainly is gonna start in March, and once it gets warm, which March is really the New Year's, not um, uh, well January in the middle or the beginning of uh, of winter. The New Year is the uh, spring, which brings forth life. Can't use any of them here to buy a stupid cup of coffee. That's probably overpriced anyway. A coffee, please. One sugar, a little bit of cream. I have cash. No cash. You don't take cash? They don't take cash. Look at this. No, what we have no no cash here. Only This is outrageous. In addition to the $6 for a cup of coffee. So, <clears throat> I paused it at this through the spirit. I remember seeing this earlier. Um, it says, this is a cashless stand. And the cashier is saying we don't take cash on top of having a so-called, well, having a mask on for um, buzzword. You got to talk in code. Uh, C9. Uh, the virus. I'm trying to think of the best way to say it without getting um, flagged on my YouTube. Um, but yeah, uh, and this will be, you know, there's plenty of movies like uh, Justin Timberlake, um, I think the movie is called Timeless. You can do it. You can watch that. Um, Parallels was a TV show. You can group, you can YouTube that. Um, there's a couple other movies. Um, that go into a cashless society and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is what this is the direction that we're we're heading to. You know, the CBDC, central bank digital currency. Uh, hint on the digital currency, because cash that will not mean anything, which it doesn't mean anything anyway. The dollar is not backed up by um by gold or silver. It hasn't been backed up by gold. Since uh, I believe the 1930s, and you can these are well documented, uh, well documented information that you can Google and do your own research. Go to a library, whatever, because uh, the, the the prophets of Great Millstone, the real prophets, um, we speak facts, the raw facts. We don't, we don't, we're we're not based off of uh, emotions. We're, it's all based off the Lord's words and logic and truth. I bought cars for less than that. So, <clears throat> there you have it. Um, you you know, this man has money, and he probably had, he the you know the Lord used him and whoever was recording for um, the elect's edification for me and any other brother out there to do a video on. Because this is going to hit worldwide, but mainly here in uh, it's already hit Switzerland. You can go look it up. Um, people 
in Wisconsin that work at a certain um, corporation, I can't remember the name, they're already uh, microchipped. So you can look that up too. And again, if you don't believe what I'm saying, which you shouldn't just believe what I'm saying, you can go on YouTube and look it up and uh, go through DuckDuckGo, whatever. The Lord, if the Lord is with you, the Lord will guide you to, to, to see what you need to see through the Spirit. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he, talking about Esau, causeth all, both small and great, small to, you know, to a crackhead or a bum on the street, and great to, you know, your LeBron James, to your so-called celebrities, doesn't matter. Rich and poor, you know, rich, you know, going rich and wealthy, with people that have, you know, a large sub substance of uh, blood money, which, you know, the celebrities to you know your 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 drug dealers and whoever has substance you know of frns and poor you know to your your to yourself you know you know we're poor we don't have we don't have much riches we can't just go on a vacation whenever we want you know to your local crackhead to your bum on the street, to your regular nine to five uh, type of person that you know, a friend to the family, a family member, whatever. Free, you know, even though we're not really free because we're under the the foot of Esau, but that's someone that's not in jail and bond, going back to bondsmen, going back to um, uh, to like um, the what's it called when you bond out of a jail. Um, someone that's locked up to receive a mark in their right hand, which going into the right hand, majority of the world is right handed, but it can go in your left hand. That's not, you know, let's not stay focused on that part, but it can go in your right hand. And it, let's say you don't have a right hand. It can go in your left hand and it says, or in their foreheads, because you can go Google brain chips, go Google it. You can go Google it. You can YouTube it. It doesn't matter. The information is out there because Esau Edom has but a short time and he knows that. So that's why the timeline of the New World Order is being, being uh, um, fast-tracked. Verse 17, and that no man might buy, buy meaning purchase or sell. Obviously, you know what sell means. Um, <clears throat> save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, and beast is Esau, going back to the Roman Empire, uh, the draconian laws, or the number of his name, which is 666, because everything associated around Esau has that, that, that demonic number of six around it, and he lets you know, you know, throwing up his hand signs, and, you know, whatever, um, and to focus on the, on the word mark, the word mark in Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 is not the same as Ezekiel chapter 9 Ezekiel chapter 9 verse um, 4 those are two different uh, def they have two different definitions it's the same word but two different definitions here in the Revelation is in the Greek in in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is in the Hebrew so now you have two different languages that uh, King James and his his um, his uh, understudies um, or scholars translated the Bible from. So I'm going to go back real quick. So this is how you use the blue letter Bible. You click there. Then you go and look for the, the book, which is Revelation chapter 13. And then you scroll on down to whatever verse you're looking for. Then you click the verse. Right. Then you click interlinear. And then you scroll down again, you know, it has the Greek or the Hebrew, which we're really we're going into the Greek. And then it goes into the the number of the Bible concordance and then English. And you can listen to the word with the speaker right there. And then. Um, and that's why you're supposed to go into the words to get the full depth 
edification of just the 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 verse understanding. So it's G fifty four verse fifty four eighty. Um, let's see. Strong's G fifty four eighty, charagma, charagma, which is karagma, you know, in the Greek. And then you click that. And then it says, Karagma, a stamp and imprinted imprinted mark, or the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. So you don't want to be an Antichrist because there's many Antichrists. There's not just one Antichrist. Anyone that, that's against Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, um, the anointed savior, because the Yahushua means he delivers, he saves, which he's coming back for the the um, hopeful elect, the 144,000 and the one third. It says, the mark branded upon horses as property. That's why you mark your, your, your horses. And if you ever worked on a farm, you pretty much mark all your, your, your property or your territory. So if someone steals it and then you find that person with your property, you have a mark on it and to prove Hey, that's my property that you stole. Uh, next definition says, thing carved, sculpture, graven work, and then of idolatrous images. And then you go to Strong's definition, karagma, from the same as G5482. Let's see what that says real quick. Mm, okay, see, a pale or stake, a palisade, palisade, um, a palisade or rampart, pales between the earth, stone trees, and t timbers are heaped and packed together. Um, carasso to sharpen to a point, akin to an idea of scratching a stake, i.e., by implication. Military mound. Um, let's see, I want to see what palisade means real quick. Oops. So, when you look up, okay, it's recording. So when you look up, um, let's see, to caresso, which is similar to karagma, to sharpen to a point, and then you look up a uh, a kin. A sim of similar nature or character so just to it, it, it further explains about the karagma being inserted in your right hand or forehead to a sharpen to sharpen to a point because it you're going to need something sharp to inject inside the web of your thumb and uh, index finger through the idea of scratching a stake you know, i.e. by implication, a palisade. Palisade means a fence of wooden stakes or iron railings fixed in the ground, forming an enclosure of defense. That being said, that means it needs to be injected. It needs to be sharpened. The the, the uh, syringe will be sharp enough to just doop, puncture inside the web of that soft tissue or, or of the skin and soft tissue for the RFID microchip to go to be inserted easily and you can look up ramp ram part uh a defense wall of castle or walled city having broad a broad top with a walkway um it's not what i'm looking for one second But the RFID chip, from what I'm getting from this through the spirit, you know, the chip will not come out. It will be surrounded by your soft tissue. And then once the RFID chip is injected in the web of your, between your thumb and index finger, um, your white blood cells will attack it in a, in, um, <clears throat> through the spirit will uh, put a defense wall around it. Therefore, in permanently embedding it inside your skin, 
And if you do try to tamper with it, which it will hurt like hell trying to take it out, once you take the RFID chip, your judgment is set. You will be in future, very close future, um, future of uh, the lake of fire. So, but trying to take it out will cause even more damage and possibly Esau can just push your button and it can release some type of electrical pulse to hit your nervous system to kill you or release um, cyanide into your system. Um, Esau is, cra uh, is crafty. He's subtile like a serpent. So he will have a fail safe if you try to take it, once you take it and try to take it out, you know, um, it's, it's not hard to understand, but if the Lord's not dealing with you, you know, that's the consequences of, uh, of taking the RFID chip. Um, go back to the word Mark and Strong's definition. Karagma, a scratch or etching. Let's see what etching means real quick. Just an easy definition. It says all uh, C definitions in all art, printing, chemistry, electronics. And the RFID chip is an electronic. Um, let's see. Let's see. When you etch something, it's just like a tattoo, which also goes against the law, statutes, <clears throat> and commandments. Um, trying to find something. Lock here, i.e., stamp as a badge of servitude. So, if you take the RFID chip in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, servitude, the state of being a slave or completely sub subject to someone more powerful, and Esau is in the power seat. It's not hard to understand. Um, slavery, similar slavery, and enslavement, bondage subjugation, subjection, domination, I don't know how to pronounce, thraldom, traildom, you know, and the opposite is freedom, and we're only free through Yahweh Shah, Yahweh White Yahweh Shah, so if you take that uh, karagma, which is Mark, you are bending a knee to Esau Edom, you know, and, and, and that's, you know, of idolatrous images. That's his image, you know. That's, it's not hard. It's a graven mark. So, and I'm going to close out with this scripture. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship, uh, bend a knee, uh, the beast and his image, the image is a chip or the mark, and receive his mark in his forehead or in, or in his hand, hence you see, you see it doesn't say right hand, it doesn't matter what hand, as long as you, if you take it, you're going to suffer the um, judgment of taking it. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is righteous judgment. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. And the Lamb is Yahawashar. And the smoke of the torment, torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship, who worship the beast of his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Um, it says... Here is the patience of the saints. Here are the here are they that keep the commandment of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. You know, so and that's going into, you know, that, that second death, which is the um ICBM missile, the lake of fire. So if you take that and you bend a knee in, in servitude of the image <coughs> of the um Worshiping the beast and his image, then, you know, the beast is Esau and his image is that mark. So, there's a, there's a harsh 
judgment that's going to come behind that. So with that, I'm going to try and do part two of this video, but um, I don't want to make it too long, Big a big foul on my phone. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaf Kadash, double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth. Ababa Shalom.